start recording. Hey, hi. <laughs> RWX, hey, hi. Uh, a quick video here about something I just learned about. It's one of these many, many things that I did not know about. And you're going to be like, how did you not know about that? Well, I told you, I don't know everything. I'm learning stuff all the time. So somebody told me today in a, in a peer review, uh, why are you including your username in your example keys uh, for your SSH testing? Why don't you just actually override the comment with something instead of having it be your user ID in the comment? And I was like, you can do that? And they're like, yeah, it's dash C. And then we looked at the man page and they, and they went, well, it's actually dash capital C. Here it is. If you don't know how to do this, learn how. Okay, so let me talk about why. Um, first thing is that sometimes, so, so here, here's the key pair, right? So some, this is the, this is the public key. That's all of it, by the way. Why is it so short? Because ED25519, which is, I first learned about as a recommendation from GitHub. GitHub actually recommends that you use that type of key. Um, that was the first time I heard about it. And I was like, that can't be the whole key. Cause I was just using RSA, which is like three pages long or something. So at least three lines long. And uh, the comment has no purpose whatsoever. Uh, it actually can be deleted, but I do not believe it can be deleted from uh, the public key. I think I think it's a part of the public key. Somebody can put in the comments whether that's true or not. I have not tested that, but I don't really need to because really what I want is uh, I want my examples and stuff uh, of an authorized keys file and other things like that. I want my examples to not have any personally identifying information in them. And so that I don't get my code commits rejected because I have my username in here, which is what happened. I mean, they were, they, they were let out through, they were fine, but I just said, okay, I'll go do it. So this is how you do it. You just, you add a capital C and you put your comment there and you can put the file anywhere with dash F. This is the path to the private key. The public key will be that thing dot pub. Uh, and this is the output as it's generating it. Um, and you can see here it saved it into temps as pub or pub key. You can then use those files anytime you want using just SSH space dash I and point it to the private key file, the private the private file, which everybody probably already knows how to do, but that that's really useful information. The main takeaway to this little video is that uh, yeah, don't add your SSH social security number to the comment. That'd be a bad idea. But yeah, you can add whatever you want to the comment over here. That That's it. That's all there is to this video. Maybe you didn't know this. Maybe you did. I didn't. Now you do.